So I was wondering, is it possible to 3D print a studio light? Well, of course it's possible, but uh, I think a better question is, is it viable? What I mean by that is, I mean, when people say they're going to 3D print some kind of electronic, it doesn't mean that you click print and then nine hours later you have a functioning studio light. When I was first getting into 3D printing, I was really confused on what people meant when they said they were going to 3D print something like a studio light. So what that means is I'm going to go design a plastic shell to fit all the electronics in. And so basically you'll have a functioning studio light before you even click print because you'll have all the working electronics. You just need a place to house them and house the lens in front of the LED element. So you just need a very, you know, a custom piece of plastic. Moving on to, is it viable? I know from experience, my favorite budget studio light is the Godox SL60W and that clocks in at around $130. So what I have invested in this so far is about $100 on the LED chip, the heat sink, and the fan, $20 on the power supply, and then I salvaged a little 12 volt supply for the fan. And also the fan that it uses is a little bit noisy, so if I wanted to replace it, that would be another $20. So I'm gonna say this project costs $125, and that's assuming you already have a 3D printer. So the only real way to make this light better than what's already available as a professional studio light is if the light quality or the light output is better. So there's one issue with the Godox SL60W, the $130 light uh, that I found recently, and that is at high frame rates, uh, or more specifically, very high shutter speeds, it has a problem with flicker, which usually isn't a problem if you don't do any slow motion and you film in a studio all the time and your shutter speed's always at 1 50th of a second. If this light doesn't flicker, I know it has a CRI of like between 90 and 95, which is totally perfect for video. If it doesn't flicker, then that'd be the single advantage it has over most budget studio lights, which all have flickering issues. What I did notice with this light is a very huge green color cast, which is not very helpful for video work, uh, but it is extremely bright and it has no flicker. So if you were less concerned about image quality and more concerned about uh, not having flicker and being able to light a subject, this would be a cool project to do. Also, the noise level is really high, so I'd probably only want to use this for B-roll or slow motion footage, which wouldn't have any sound with it. Under that piece of plastic is a 36 volt power supply that converts the 120 volts coming out of my house into power for the LED chip. On top of that is the supply for the fan, which is a salvaged 12 volt supply from some random piece of electronics I had laying around. The fan just rests on top of the heatsink for now. I didn't figure out any other way to secure it. And the lens is just screwed onto the front with a couple of screws that I found. It took me like four or five hours of effort to try and design a case to perfectly fit all the things and it could still use a little bit of adjustment. And the first time I printed it, I made the walls way too thin. And uh, so, I mean, look at this, they're like crinkling. It falls apart really easily. So. I don't even know if I want to continue with this project at this point, but now, now I'm just testing the quality of light if you really wanted to pursue this. And then you could also design a bones mount and then you know you could mount bones accessories if you wanted to. Uh, I'll link to the file that I created for this particular project and the things that I used if you just felt creative and you want to do something yourself. But I feel like I would way rather buy a light than go through the trouble of having to build something that's also not even safe. I don't even have a power switch. I just have a power strip that I turn on and off and it's like it's super janky. So I don't know if it's worth 3D printing a shell for your studio light. I think it's probably a lot smarter or wiser of an investment to just buy something that's ready made. And if you need something that works really well at high frame rates, aperture is the way to go. I mean that's so the light that I'm using is my key light right now. That um, I'm using the 120D Mark I, which I think you can get them for like $575 right now, um, which will give you the most, the highest quality light output, and it's flicker free. Um, if you want to do this project on your own just for fun, or you want to design a specific way to use this LED, the link to the file that I used to print this is in the description of this video, and also the components that I used are in the description too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.